Yo, how's everyone doing today? <clears throat> Turn this sound out in my ears. It is fucking loud. All right, let's get this show on the road. <clears throat> Now, it has been a while since I streamed, so for anyone who's just joining us, we're uh, trying to finish the first Harry Potter PS1 game. Just got to check if this is the right save file. Hey, how you doing? Where's everyone from in the chat? You know it, live again. <clears throat> it has been a while, but I apologize. Uh, don't really want to hear it all, but uh, I've moved house. I've <laughs> basically been sick for about a month or two. So uh, I apologize, it's been a while, but uh, the plan now is to, uh, to stream two to three times a week and hang out with you all. New York, America. Mr. Potter. All right, so we're pretty close to the end of this game. Hopefully I've loaded the right save file. <laughs> yeah, I remember you, mate. Okay. Where are we supposed to go again? We've got to go to this bloody chess match, don't we? Just finished watching every one of my videos. <laughs> well, thank you for that. It, um, <clears throat> hopefully it was entertaining for you. I'm trying to release a video every day at the moment. Um, uh, I didn't release one last night, <coughs> but uh, because I took a bit of a break over Christmas, the, uh, the YouTube gods uh, decided to downvote me in the algorithm, which meant really no one was seeing my videos for a while there, but uh, finally managed to uh, get back on top. So we're all, we're all sorted again. Um, okay, I think this is the wrong save file, so excuse me for a second. I'm just going to restart this game. Like an absolute fool. Oh my god. So I apologize about starting a few minutes late as well, everyone, because uh, my dog took a huge shit <laughs> in my office and I had to clean it up. So I didn't... I don't. I didn't actually think I could uh, could do the whole stream just smelling that and um, just existing with it. Where do I come? <clears throat> I think it's the dialogue is the easiest part. Actually, um, I'm a bit of a weirdo in that. Like, I used to spend a lot of time uh, sort of just talking to myself in my car. I would just converse with different voices and try and stage a full conversation. It was a weird way of keeping myself entertained. So when it comes to actually writing dialogue, I find I can write really fast. But um, the clips that I think do better and the ones I think you all seem to appreciate more is the ones where essentially there's a better idea behind it. Say for example, um, What's going on here? All right, hopefully this is the right save throw. <laughs> She's playing the same game at the moment. But yeah, essentially the, the, the one, the videos that I think uh, work better for everyone are the ones where um, there's a good idea. So for example, everyone's really loving the, uh, the house, the Hogwarts house's name changes at the moment. So that was a concept I came up with that I thought everyone would like. 
Hi from the United Kingdom. How you doing, mate? I, I was born in the United Kingdom, believe it or not, based on my accent. <clears throat> okay. Now, pretty sure I need to go to the secret hallway. Thank you. Mr. Potter, what in the name of Godric Gryffindor's balls do you think you're doing? Have I ever been to Wales? I have not been to Wales. Actually, no, I did, but I was really young, so I, I honestly couldn't tell you anything about it. So, thanks so much for the lovely comments. Um, I'm a, I'm a always, I always get Gryffindor whenever I do the test. Um, it's, it's just, uh, I did it once and got Hufflepuff. Um, but generally speaking, I'm a Gryffindor, which is not something I would assume about myself. I don't think I'm a particularly adventurous or brave person, um, but I am a very driven person. Um, you know, I have a lot of other friends who, uh, who, who make content as well and, and, and they don't really make half the amount of videos I do. And they're always telling me, asking me how I, how I do it. So that's not particularly hard for me, but I, uh, you know, other people seem to struggle with, say, daily videos. Ah, damn it. Uh, maybe we've got to come. Hufflepuff? Nothing wrong with Hufflepuffs. I mean, you know, we all need the Hufflepuffs. What did everyone play in Hogwarts Legacy? Did you play the house that you normally go in or did you play with a different house just to see something new? Ah, someone from Belgium. How you doing? This is the problem when you haven't played the game for three months. Uh, forget where you go. You played You played through all the houses. Wow. How long did that take you? Did you 100% at each time? Poland. Hi. Not from Poland. Good to see you. How long has everyone been watching my channel in here? Is anyone new or are you all, uh, you've all been watching for a, for a while now? He does make strange sounds. It sounds like he's jerking off. Ah, uh, is this where we need to go? No, that's Defense Against the Dark Arts. Potions class. Nope. We need to go. 
get to the chess game. That's where we need to get. That's where we were at last time. Got a Slytherin in here. Ah, oh, that's great. I'm glad. I, so I write the videos so that people can rewatch them. I put little quotes in there that um, one of my favorite things to do growing up was um, I just was just obsessed with The Simpsons and Family Guy. So I could just quote full episodes verbatim. <laughs> So me and my friends would just share quotes all the time. So I'm glad everyone's kind of getting rewatchability out of the videos because I do write them to try and so people can rewatch them and get new jokes from them. Can I do a Hermione? Oh no! Yeah, I apologize this is a bit dull at the moment because uh, <laughs> Once you're at this far into the game, there's really not that much to do. These old games um, don't really have random spawns like new games. You can't fight things. Once you've kind of cleared everything, everything's just a bit dead till you get to your objective. <coughs> you're always Slytherin. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, why do you think you're a Slytherin, mate? What have we got here? Great Hall, Portrait Room. Let's go in the Great Hall. Serbia. Oh, nice to see you from Serbia, mate. We've got a Ron Oh, in there. Who's everyone's favorite character in the PS1 series? Yeah, it's weird. There's no music at the moment either. I think, like I said, because I think I'm so close to the end. The um, the music's not even in here. What film and... Um, what uh, film and comedy... Sorry, what film slash series do you like? Um, I like lots of them, mate. At the moment, I'm watching Three Body Problem. Um, that's pretty cool. Uh, what did I watch before that? I'm also watching uh, the new Ted series by Seth MacFarlane. Um, as for shows that I rewatch a lot, um, my favorite comedies are The Simpsons, South Park, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, uh, Peep Show, IT Crowd, The Mighty Boosh, um, Garth Marenghi's Dark Place, did I say Flight of the Concords? I did. Um, yeah, those are my favorites. Now, I'm just going to double check and see if I loaded the state where I was because this is boring even me, so I can't even imagine what it's like to, um, to be watching this. Load state. Is this us? Let's try this one. Oh, here we go. I think this is a little ways behind where we were, but uh, this will do. Hang on, my chat's disappeared. Thanks for the gift there, Robin. Appreciate it, mate. Yeah, once we finish this one, I'm going to go straight into Chamber of Secrets. Um, I also plan to do a few other... Um, a few other retro games. Um, so start thinking about old school games that you'd like to see me play. Lock on again. There we go. The lock on is a bit of a cheat code in this because uh, 
Come here, mate. You gotta shoot these guys up the clacker. Oh, Hermione, shut the fuck up! There you go. Oh, here we go. Here's Hagrid. All right, Harry. I was just touching me little snake here in the uh, in the forest. Didn't know you'd be joining me. Don't understand what would be killing the unicorns. How old am I? How old do you think I am, mate? There's summer in these woods that shouldn't be. Be careful now and stay with the path. Call me. Tomb Raider. Yeah, I want to play Tomb Raider. A lot of people have suggested I play the old Pokemon games. Mighty Boosh. <laughs> yeah, the Mighty Boosh is so good. Um, I haven't watched um, Noel Fielding's new show yet. Uh, Dirk. Shit. What, what's it called? It's some, some weird name. Um, but uh, that looks interesting. I've got to burn these bushes from memory. Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, the Resident Evil series is one I'm definitely thinking of doing. Um, I love Resident Evil. Uh, I still haven't played the, the remake of 4 yet, so I'm a bit of a bad Resident Evil fan. But um, having a three-year-old daughter means I don't quite have the time that I used to have to play games. Um, but she's almost old enough to play games with me, so definitely going to start playing some more of these old classics with her. I've got pretty much every console I grew up with um, just underneath the house. I've got Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, PlayStation 1. So judging by that, whoever asked how old I was before, you can, <laughs> you can guess that I'm quite old based off those systems. Uh, am I going to watch a new Doctor Who? I'm still... I'm still behind. Uh, the last Doctor Who season I watched was when Peter Capaldi was still the Doctor. So, uh, I'm a few seasons behind in that. Um, but it looks interesting. The new guy looks like he's um, he's got some swagger. And... Um, the original showrunner is supposed to be back for this season, so... See how it goes. Hang on, what are we talking about? Minecarts? Is that um, Donkey Kong? <clears throat> I appreciate the offer. Thirty-five. Um, I'm actually thirty-eight. I was born in nineteen eighty-six, so yeah, I'm pretty sure that's when Stonehenge was forged. Um, Harry was rescued in the nick of time by the centaur Firenze, and rode on his back to safety. I haven't watched Shogun yet, but everyone's talking about it. <coughs> It's a bit of a sus photo, that one. Harry riding on the back of a naked, ripped man. New Doctor Who's no good. I've heard mixed reports. Um, I know a lot of the old school fans don't like the new seasons. Um, but, um, I don't know, you tend to notice a bit of a weird cycle in, in fandom. Um, I remember when everyone hated the prequels for Star Wars. Uh, and now people praise them. Um, so, I don't know, like, history tends to kind of decide these things for us, you know? Some creatures find music very relaxing. 
If you play the right tune, you can send them to sleep. In fact, I remember this very tune that I used to play to my Fluffy. Try it out on this barn owl I've been looking after. He needs a good long sleep. Star Wars prequels were good. <clears throat> I wouldn't rank... I would still say episodes 3 and... Uh, no, sorry. 4 and 5 are the best. Um, but... Um, I think Revenge of the Sith is better than Return of the Jedi, and I'm going to cop some slack from that, but uh, I'll go to bat for that. I think that's a really good movie. It's really a shame Lucas stopped at that film, because I feel like he was hitting his stride again. Oh dear, this is not a fun mini game at all just press buttons in sequence out like a light i wish fluffy was as easy to send yeah revenge of the sith is a great movie uh, there's a, there's a few things that annoy me about it um uh i don't really care for the giant iguana chase <laughs> i feel like they could have done without that i think grievous is a really interesting bad guy but um my main problem with the prequels is they kind of keep killing the big bad every movie. So like in the first one, you've got Maul and then you've got Dooku and then you've got Grievous in the third. So it, I feel like they should have just had a continuing big bad. Come on, Ron, let's go. I suppose... Apologize to anyone who watched the last stream. We have done all this already, um, but uh, I don't know. This is a problem when you play ROMs. Um, I do have the original game. I just I couldn't figure out how to actually plug it into the, the computer. So it's just easier to play it this way. How many Xboxes? Um, so I actually never owned the original Xbox yet. Yeah, the original Xbox was crazy expensive when it came out. Um, so what we did is um, my friend had Xbox and I had PlayStation. So we would go to his house to play Xbox and um, I, would, I would have the PlayStation games. So I have some really fond memories of the original Xbox playing Halo 1, driving around in that Jeep. Let's actually save this. Right. Where's this one take us? That's Quidditch. What about this one? Herbology, not going there. Yeah, Mandalorian. Um, it does get pretty weak. I really enjoyed one. Um, two, I started to feel like there was a bit of growing pains happening. Um, basically, whenever they take the story away from the title character, the Mandalorian, I feel like the show just hits an absolute dead end. Um, and it was the same... Well, it was, it was kind of the inverse with Boba Fett because Boba Fett was boring as fuck. Um, but when the Mandalorian came into it, those were the best, um, those are the best episodes. But no, uh, no shade to anyone who enjoys them. That's just my, that's just my opinion. Star Wars recap. Oh man. I mean, how do you even start with Star Wars? I think it just, just, there's like a really good Star Wars in five minute recap on YouTube that'll do it far better than I ever could. Uh, oh, this is not where I wanted to go. Fred and George. What are you doing, Harry? 
We saw you with your wand out. Turn into a tower. Yeah, I feel <clears throat> I feel bad for a lot of the creatives who are involved in the new Star Wars because I know it wasn't their fault. Essentially, what Disney did is it said we want new Star Wars every five minutes, um, and uh, I know the guy. Well, I don't know him well, but um. Uh, the guy who actually wrote the treatment for the Obi-Wan series. So I think that was originally supposed to be like one or two movies. And so he wrote the treatment for it. And then a Disney kind of took it off him and turned it into, um, a, um, into a series. And you can really tell that it was never intended to be a series because the padding in that show is atrocious. What's my favorite Harry Potter character? Um, uh, Lupin. Lupin is my favorite. Ah, here we go. Yeah, Boba Fett, it really struggled with pacing problems for sure. Um, pretty sure we're supposed to be up here somewhere. Is this where we are? Fortress room, no. I think we're up here. Ooh. Zelda the Wind Waker. Oh, Robin, mate, you got good taste. Zelda's one of my favorite games. And I'm an appalling Zelda fan because I haven't played the latest Zelda. Um, again, having a daughter makes things pretty hard. Um, so I I've, I've usually have to pick between making content and playing games. Um, it's kind of why I've started streaming is I get to hang out with you guys and, um, I get to play games, which is sick. Uh, hmm. I don't think this is where we're supposed to be going. We'll see. What would Snape sound like if he was ordering a drink from Starbucks? I would like one cheaply made slave labor coffee. No milk. Extra black. Oh, fuck. Man, the jumping in this game is cooked. <laughs> also, I'm pretty shit at it. There we are. Keep going to move the camera like you can in modern games and it just does not let you. Oh, oh, oh. don't jump off the edge, you idiot. All right, there we go. You gotta wonder who designed this castle. Like students are going to get to class. We're going down this precarious corridor. Oh shit. Favorite Death Eater character? Uh, I mean, would you classify Malfoy as a Death Eater? If, if, uh, if you would classify Malfoy, then he is my favorite. Malfoy's probably one of my favorite characters um Malfoy and Snape but I don't think um I don't think she did a good job kind of giving either of those characters a resolution in my opinion um I would have liked to see Draco kind of do something um you know kind of defy his dad and his parents a bit at the end I know a lot of people say that he kind of could have um, given Harry Potter up in the dungeon and that's kind of his heroic moment. Um, yeah, I would have liked to have seen a bit more. I, like, did you ever see that scene they filmed for the movies where um, in the Battle of Hogwarts he actually throws Harry his wand? I thought that was pretty sick. Um, but I'm kind of a sucker for the classic hero's journey. Um, so I like those kind of beats. Um, that was clearly not the story J.K. Rowling was trying to tell. 
Um, but uh, yeah, same with Snape. I don't really feel like because he, he's such an interesting character. I don't really feel like he fully redeemed himself. You know. Hogwarts House is his clothing companies. What uh, what clothing companies uh, would they be? Is this the same one we just came in? It's annoying. Yeah, Narcissa definitely had her hero moment. She protected Harry for sure. Uh, serious black voice. I haven't actually worked on that. I'm sure I could get it. <clears throat> I would need a reference. I, I, um... A lot of people have said I look like serious black because of my hair. Um, I can see that. No sign of that password yet. You must up. Mr. Potter. Yeah, I... See, this is the problem is, um... The problem with this PS1 series is only so many characters actually appeared in the games. Um, so I can only really use what models existed. Um, but um, I'm kind of working on something at the moment um, for a couple of different reasons. Uh, I'm working on essentially trying to create something a bit new um anyone who watched the end of um so i need the password how do i get the password maybe fred and george will help me nice one harry we've got the beans we needed the portrait password is wolf spain thanks for the beans harry we'll make have you heard the rumor there's a troll on the loose around here Smells worse than Percy's socks, and that's saying something. Cheeky bugger. Alright, we got that password, we can continue. Uh, where have you thoughts on the. Uh,. I haven't um I haven't seen that fan. There's a lot of Harry Potter fan fiction, so I can't I haven't kept up to date with it all. Um but uh yeah, essentially what I'm kind of working on is people could kind of uh uh call fan fiction, but um kind of creating something a bit new. And um if you liked the multiverse story that we did, um I think you'll really like the next thing I'm going to do. But um until that's ready, I'm just going to make random funny videos. Fred and George. They'll be in the next game. See you later, Harry. Oh, there we go. We've got a knockback jinx. Puppet Pals, yeah. Alright, well let's save that because this game is uh, not liking me at the moment. Alright. So, yeah, I remember Puppet Pals. That was great. Um, I to be honest with you, I've only seen it the one time, so um, it uh, I can't, I, I wouldn't be able to quote it. It was a better flipendo. Flipendo. Where's this floating table? Yeah. Now, the fuck do we go now? Let's 
supposed to be a troll on the wrist. Uh, here we go. Don't you laugh wrong. We saw you in the broom closet stroking your Ollivander wand. Oh, got a bit more health. All right. Troll in the dungeon. Troll in the dungeon. Philosopher's Stone. Harry, I know you are brave, but promise me you'll be very careful. Point our glasses are slowly filling up. Uh, four X or two is. I think Snape's a bit of a beer snob. I think he's more of a like Hufflepuff. mountain goat or uh, you know stone and wood or something like that. I, I don't think he would drink the uh, stock standard stuff. He'd be like Mr. Potter. I will not drink that swill. Griffin. Give me a pale ale. Slytherin are in the lead on house points. <laughs> oh, that's nice to hear. Um, yeah, I think I've ruined these games for a lot of people because uh, I've heard a few people have told me that uh, essentially um, they can't remember the real voices. Who's my favourite Weasley? Um... Probably Arthur Weasley. He's a bit of a. I like his uh, style of parenting. He seems like a good dude. Harry Hagrid to call this monster Fluffy. Of course. Yeah. Harry, do you remember that Hagrid said that he used to come? Yes. The uh, chess was intense. I can't believe I have to do that broom thing again. That sucked. Ah, shit. All right. I don't have much life here, so this might take a couple of goes. Scheiße. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, he's asleep. We got him. I mean, who lets a fucking dog like this into a school with kids? Dumbledore clearly wants to kill the students. Fred, uh, no, I like the, I like the twins. The twins are great. Um, it's just, uh, yeah, I like Arthur. I think Arthur's probably my favourite Weasley. Ron's a bit of a douchebag. Bastard. Has the other one woken up now? Bugger. Can't believe you woke up, you motherfucker. Oh shit. Alright, he looks like he's asleep now. No, he's just still awake. Alright, we got him. <laughs> yeah, I could probably do that. Turn Fluffy into a character. Fluffy, what are you doing? Rawr, Hagrid. Just be licking my balls, don't I? I don't know why Fluffy would sound like a pirate. Fuck out of there. Now these things fucking regenerate. No one told me this. Alright, here we go. To be honest with you, I have a Chihuahua, and a Chihuahua would be worse than Fluffy. She, she's a fucking maniac. Oh, 
Oh, you like, um, you like Aragog? Aragog's good fun. Aragog, who did you bring to my forest? Why is Hagrid so horny? I don't know, there's no other giants around, is there? So he's just stroking his giant wand all the time. Alright, we got him. Get out of here, you bastard. Alright, Harry. Don't come into my hut between 7 and 8 p.m. That's Hagrid's time. Ooh, Shizer. What in the hell? Voldemort, what are you doing in me hut? Well, I came to bloody say hello, didn't I? Flippendo. All right. Is this guy going to come out? There we are. Oh, Jesus. Um, I did do a scene with James Potter in the Aussie Potter series. Um, again, I'm kind of limited with the PS1 style. It's a bit of a shame. Um, I'm having a chat with a couple of YouTubers who do 3D animation. And um, my goal is to essentially get better at that. And then um, I should be able to just make shit. I died. Um, I should be able to make, you know, Sirius Black, um, any characters people want in the PS1 style and um, keep expanding the series from there. Uh, it would also allow me to make pretty much any franchise in the PS1 style and make any video, have any character crossover. That's my goal. Do I stand up? <laughs> yeah, I stand up sometimes. I'm not going to stand up now because you'll just see me crutch. Thanks, Alex. Appreciate that, mate. Yeah, I've had a fan. A fan has sent me in um, a couple of suggestions. So hopefully uh, we can knock this chess one out of the park this time. Uh, I'm going to play for another hour, so hopefully we can knock this game on the head in that time. We'll see. Oh, do I do stand-up comedy? I can't believe I thought you legitimately just meant do I stand up from my chair. I'm fucking tired. <laughs> What a dickhead. Um, I don't do stand-up, but I'm planning to. Um, it's just a matter of time. I, I only have so much time I can do. I've got a bunch of stand-up written. Um, but what I've actually... So, um, I just met with a local network here um, called the ABC uh, for all you Aussies. And um, I'm to in talks with them about a, a series. Um, it's going to be an animated series. It's nothing to do with Harry Potter. But um, if you like my style of humour, um, I think you'll like the show. Um, so, in early talks about that at the moment. Stay back. It's the devil's snare. Try not yeah. to get too close to those tentacles. Yeah, that's fucking useless. All right, I know that. How do I get this one, though? Maybe I've got to do more powered up ones. Yeah, I would like to come and tour the UK. I, I, honestly, I would love to do stand-up. It's, um... I'll probably do a couple of shows this year. There probably won't be, like, a tour or anything. I'm, I just... I've said to myself I would do it. Um, I've got some pretty funny material written as well. Um, it's nothing to do with um, Harry Potter though. So anyone who's expecting me to go and talk about Harry Potter for an hour, it, you might be disappointed. Um, but if you like cock and balls jokes, which is pretty much all of my stuff, um, you should be pretty happy. <laughs> 
All right, what am I doing wrong here, people? What what do I need to do to beat this fucking thing? South Australia. I'm from Melbourne, mate. Well, not really Melbourne, because um, I'm about an hour and a bit east of Melbourne. Um, ah, the light green one. Okay. You've uh, you've cracked the code. I am a fucking idiot at these games. So, oh my god. And I've done this before. That's the that's the sad thing here. I've just forgotten all about it. Um, yeah. Big Les show. Big Les show is funny as. Um, I was actually surprised. Just given its popularity, I was surprised that it never got picked up from Adult Swim or something like that. It's uh, Aussie Man reviews. Yeah, he's funny. Um, I think I met him once, actually. Oh, so um, Take a decent amount of health off you when they get you. Alright, which is the next green one? Alright, we gotta go over there now. Um, Harry Potter series. Look, I am... Um, I'm a bit disappointed it's not a new idea. Um, because I think the movies, despite their flaws, did a pretty good job at adapting the books. Um, and, you know, the original cast is very iconic. Um, I would have much preferred, uh, J.K. Rowling, like, actually put time into, oh, for fuck's sake, that's not a green one, is it? Um, actually put time into, I, I, cause I feel like she's trying to do so much at the moment. She's writing the strike books, um, which I'm a fan of, I like the strike books. Um, she's writing those Fantastic Beast films, which clearly was an afterthought for her, because... The world building of um, Fantastic Beasts just... Either that or she doesn't know how to adapt her own work to film. Um, because I think she's got too many ideas and those movies just come across as a bit of a mess. The first one's good. Um, but uh, there's good moments in the other two. But yeah, the, the two and three were not that great in my opinion. Here we go. Favourite elf? Yeah, definitely Dobby. Um, I mean, we don't really meet many of the elves. Obviously, there's Winky. We meet her a bit. She's a bit of a drunk. This thing's vicious, isn't it? Um, it flopped because the movies weren't that good. And no, no, um, no criticism to you if you enjoyed them. Um, but they're just not very good, um, movies. They, they don't make enough sense. Like, I feel a movie that if you don't really get what's going on and you have to re-watch it, um, if it's not intentionally trying to be cryptic, um, it's just a bad movie, yeah. Here we go. Favourite Harry, Harry Potter ghost? Uh, it's got to be nearly headless Nick, doesn't it? Also because I love John Cleese. Uh, 
uh, the first Harry Potters. Yeah, uh, I think the movies and the books pretty closely follow my fa uh, so my favorite books and movies are pretty much the same. So Azkaban and um, Goblet of Fire for me that's peak Potter. Um, Azkaban, you could tell there was a lot of stuff she'd been building in the first two books. If you read them really close back to back, um, you can see how much pays off in that third book. And four, obviously, with the return of Voldemort. And I just really like the idea of the Triwizard Tournament. Um, you know, that would be a cool spin-off movie in itself. Just, you know, seeing another previous Triwizard Tournament. That would be fun. The problem with this game is, um, Jesus, I'm a bit far behind this. Maybe I've just got to try and catch up to the, the thing. Here we go. There we are. Ah, you bugger. Um, as movies, I probably prefer. So, I prefer the Lord of the Rings movies, um, but as books, I prefer Harry Potter. I think Tolkien's a bit hard to read sometimes, and that's not just because the books are old. Um, he uses very verbose and um, kind of old school Shakespearean style language almost. Um, but uh, the Harry Potter books, I listen to the Stephen Fry books, audio books, all the time to go to sleep. Um, so <laughs> they're, they're my favourite version of Harry Potter. But it's pretty hard to beat those Lord of the Rings movies. They're some of the best movies ever made. Um, uh, I, I think um, the only thing that holds the Harry Potter movies back is just their length. Um, they're not... They're, some of them are too short to kind of adapt what they need to. Um, I think there's a lot of, inf it's particularly in the later books, uh, later movies, sorry, there's a lot of things that happen that if you haven't read the books, uh, if you just watched the movie, you'd be like, what the fuck is going on? Um, whereas I think Lord of the Rings, for the most part, does a pretty good job that you, you don't really need to um, have what have read the books to, to understand it. Ooh, got a bit of drift on the controller here. Alright, sorry if I'm going to stop talking a little bit in this part because, uh, the, uh, the controllers are, are inverted, um, so up is down and down is up. Uh, it's not what you would normally assume to be the right controllers. Here we are. Got him. Oh, Tolkien's, uh, I'm not, no slide to Tolkien. Tolkien's amazing, obviously. Um, and the books are still good. I just... I think, I think why so many people love J.K. Rowling's work is um, she does a really good job at just kind of making making you remember what it feels like to be the age the characters are in each book, and um, not only that, but it, it it does kind of have the advantage of like at least part of her universe exists in a world that we recognise. Um, and I've noticed this with a lot of my friends who can't do fantasy. They don't, they like Harry Potter, but that's because, you know, there's trains, there's a real world, there's London, um, but they don't like Lord of the Rings because there's, they can't latch onto anything. I hope he's all right. I've defeated most of the pieces, Harry. Yeah, Chris Columbus. I don't think I can go on. It's up to you now. Oh, Ron, are you all right? Harry, you have to be careful and avoid the pieces. 
but all move one square at a time. All right, we're up to the infamous chess. <laughs> Anyone who's uh, stuck with me. Um, Now, for anyone who wasn't on the last stream, these chess games don't act like normal chess games. So these pieces just essentially follow you. Um, here we go. And you've got to try and get them to all take themselves out. Oh, pardon me. OnlyFans? What about OnlyFans? Do I have one? Uh, no. Although, weirdly, I do get that request quite a lot. I don't know. No, Ron doesn't fall off the knight. In this version, he's just lying on the ground next to the chessboard like, Oh, Harry, I can't go on anymore, mate. How you doing, mate? Do I know how to play chess in real life? Yeah, I do. I wouldn't say I'm great, um, but I definitely do know how to play chess. Are you a good chess player? Here we go. Favorite Marauder? Um, uh, well, I mean, I love Lupin, but I mean, if we're... Like, who would I hang out with at school? I mean, Sirius Black would have been a lot of fun to hang out with at school. Yeah, exactly. There's, I don't think EA was like, oh, kids won't understand what chess is. Um, or they're like, how can we put microtransactions in this chess game? What part of Oz do I live in? Oh, I was the same before. I live uh, about an hour east of Melbourne. Just bought a house out in the country. I was, I was, um, I was raised in the country. Uh, I moved around a lot when I was younger. I was actually born in England. I moved here when I was about five. Um, and my parents and I moved around a lot for the first few years. And um, after, after that, we eventually settled in, in the um, good old bloody Australia. All right, hopefully one of these guys is gonna take themselves out. I think I'm snookered here, guys. I think I'm in trouble. Ah, shit. Have I ever traveled outside of Australia? Yeah, I've been to the USA. Um, I love the USA. It's um, it's a lovely place. I haven't been in a long time, so I haven't been um, I haven't been to a lot of the middle regions of America, but um, I've been to the east and west, so like LA, San Fran, New York. I'd really like to see Austin. Um, I've been to Philadelphia. I actually was, um, when I was about 20, I did a, um, one of those summer camps. Fuck, I think I'm done again. everyone it, it's it's hard because there's 
it took it took <laughs> it took a long time the last train just to figure out what the hell the rules were of this chess game because i kept playing it like it was actual chess only to realize that this was not the case Yeah, the chess music is cool. Alright. This was the one we got done on last time. Now. You're to come across. It's basically a game of avoidance. See you, mate. Thanks for hanging out. Um, I'll probably be streaming again later in the week, so uh, I'll do a post on the community page. So keep an eye out, everyone, for that. Uh, uh, I still got about a half an hour left of the stream for everyone else who's still hanging out. Uh, do I not have it always on my screen? Uh, I, to be honest, I'm, I'm a bit of a noob streamer, so I'm using something called Bot Tricks at the moment. Um, so I think they disappear after a while. Um, my favorite band. Um, so I used to listen to a lot of heavy metal. So my, uh, well, I still do. Uh, my favorite band is probably a heavy metal band um uh it's, it's a band called insomnium i don't know if any of you know what that is um Oh, thanks for the thanks for the gift there note Liaz. is that your name is it did I pronounce that right I appreciate that all right we fucked it up that time <laughs> so I apologize if I'm uh, a little less chatty on this one this was the one that did me in last time so I'm trying to um, remember what I did so I wrote a couple of notes down of like how I got far <laughs> now I'm trying to get to there and then we'll see how we go it's your birthday. Happy birthday, Anise. How do you pronounce it? Notalius? Uh, Notalius? Uh, also, you've, you've sent some before, so I appreciate that, mate. Is this where I get the character designs from? They're, they're just from this game. Um, I, I literally just use footage from this game um, and re-edit it to make my videos. I don't you do any 3D animation at all. Um, my least favorite Harry Potter book? Uh, I think it's... Um, I think it's essentially... Probably the Order of the Phoenix. Here we go. I think two of these should take each other out, hopefully. There we are. Not Elias. Ah, there we go. Sorry, mate. How many points off Gryffindor today? I think Snape's in a pretty good mood, so probably only 40 trillion. 40 trillion points. Oh shit, I think we just did it. Man, I wasn't. All right, we did it. 
Do I listen to Iron Maiden? Yes, I do. I love Iron Maiden. If you like Iron Maiden, um, give a band called Hybria a listen. Their first two albums in particular, uh, H-I-B-R-I-A. Um, and uh, try out Beast in Black as well. I think you'll like both of those bands. All right, we did it. We passed the bloody chess game. Oh my God. Well, hopefully I look like the young, uh, not disheveled Sirius Black. That would be ideal. Hang on, it's still groggy. I'm going to find the right spell to open the next door. It best not wake up or we'll be in big trouble. Charm all of these objects out of its way. Oh, thanks, Nef Joe. Uh, I appreciate that. I really want to go to the Netherlands. Did I just wake him up? Ah, oh, god damn it. So I guess I gotta be like gentler when I do this. Troll in the dungeon. Football. Um, I do, I don't really watch football to be honest with you, mate. I'm, um, I don't watch Aussie rolls and I don't what, I don't know why I said rolls. Um, Aussie rules. I don't watch Aussie rules and I don't really watch soccer. I don't watch gridiron. Um, I played a lot of basketball growing up, but um, the NBA league pass is too expensive to justify me uh, watching it because uh, I'm not super invested. I, I prefer watching like cartoons, anime. Um, I like a lot of horror movies. Um, so when I got time to do things, I tend to watch those things, create things or um, I actually studied animation, so I do a lot of drawing as well. Um, Has he woke up again? For God's sake. Alright, where have I got to put this bloody thing? Happy birthday, mate. Wait, the troller character. That's the one voice in this whole series I didn't do. Um, that was actually done by my mate Sevs. Um, Sev Picks. Um, oh no, check out his um, check out his TikTok. He's um, right he's pretty popular. But uh, he he um, he did the troll voice for me. <laughs> so, um, and I think other than Malfoy, the first time um, the first time Malfoy appeared in this series, it was voiced by M Warbank. Um, who we did say we're going to do more stuff together, but she lives in London, I live here, so it's really hard to coordinate. So I just ended up doing the rest of the voices myself. But um, in the new thing I'm trying to make, um, I would really love to um, have her um, come in. Ah, oh, what? Where's this chair come from? Am I supposed to put him on the chair? You got 300k on uh, YouTube. Congrats, mate. It's really hard to do. Or on TikTok. Rocco. Yeah, Rocco doesn't really have an Australian accent, though. What does he talk like? Spanky. Oh, no, it's waking up. Hang on. What does he talk like? Uh, if you gave me... If I had a reference, I could probably do it. It best not wake up or we'll be in big trouble. Thanks, Larix. 
What's Snape's favourite band? Um, these objects out of its way. I feel like Snape is a uh, is a heavy metal fan. Um, I tried to move it out of his way. Okay, but he keeps waking up whenever I put it down. So does it just need to be hovering when I get him past him? Okay, so he's getting too close. All right, well, I'll try that. Thanks, guys. Uh, so, uh, which prequel trilogy would I prefer? The Hobbit trilogy, the Phantom... Uh, Star Wars tri a prequel trilogy is the best of the prequel trilogies for sure. Um, the Hobbit was, I think, um, I think the casting in The Hobbit was fine, um, but uh, turning it into three movies was not necessary, and um, it, I didn't like how digital The Hobbit films looked, um, because the original Lord of the Rings films, aside from a few moments here and there, is actually, most of the effects are quite practical. Um, <clears throat> so it still holds up, you know, obviously when like, uh, Legolas is, um, all right, that worked. Um, when he's riding the bloody elephant, uh, the Oliphant. All right, here we go. All right. I don't know what I was doing wrong last time. I don't remember this scene in the movie, by the way. The uh, troll uh, in the in the hallway scene where they have to move a bunch of litter out of his way. Maybe it wouldn't have been interesting. It wasn't in the books either, suspiciously. Alright. So here, this, this fool is going to go down there. Down the hole, I'm thinking. Let's get this chocolate frog. Here he is. Metallica? Yeah, Metallica are great. Um, love Metallica. Can't really go wrong with Metallica. That was a close one. Let's see what's next. Yeah, yeah. I, well, it depends, you know. Like, obviously, the prequel trilogy uses a lot of CGI that does not hold up. It looks like an ice potion. That must be what we need to get through the fire. Gotcha, your barnacle. Drink the ice potion. Here we go. What am I playing this on? Um, so I'm. Um, I've got the game on PS One. I've actually got it twice, <laughs> um, but it was too hard to get it set up on my Mac. So I'm using. <laughs> excuse me. I'm using um, an emulator called Duck Station um, and uh, just using a ROM. Essentially, yeah, yellow screens are interesting. I, look, I think the volume, um, 
if Greg Fraser shoots the movie, looks amazing. So like he shot the original um, Mandalorian episodes, and he shot the Batman, which was mostly filmed on the um, on the volume. Um, but you know, if you look at the new Avatar f- uh, series, they filmed most of that on the volume. Looks fucking terrible. To remain among the living. These guys don't move very fast, do they? Yeah, the um the duck station it's um it fixes a lot of the wobbly textures and you can upscale it to essentially 1080p which um so this is way better than the game actually looks when you play it. Old Shizer. Cheeky bastard. So basically, you've got to get them when they're swinging for me. Is that right? Gotcha, you bastard. Oh no! What a dickhead. You booger. Slipknot, yeah. Um, to be honest with you, I only really liked their first two albums but their first two albums are great um uh spine shank were really good if you like that era of heavy metal um what's going on with this guy you motherfucker all right so basically just gotta avoid this thing does sound like Nintendo, doesn't it? You gotta wonder why Dumbledore leaves so many knights around the fucking castle if they're used to just destroy the students so regularly. Oh shit, what happened there? Yeah, the music is pretty intense, isn't it? Far more intense than the graphics. <laughs> oh, you motherfucker. Gotcha. Uh, what inspired me to create a channel on YouTube? So, I don't know, I just love... I've always been into comedy. Um, I've actually got another channel. If you check my homepage on YouTube, I... My first channel was with my friend Luke. Um, we make more traditional sketch comedy stuff. Um, and I did that for a while. But what kind of happened during COVID was um, we couldn't hang out and make stuff together. And I was getting pretty bored and quite frankly depressed being locked up in the house for so long. So I just decided to make a YouTube channel and um, yeah, I was kind of making random stuff for a long time, just really odd sketches about nothing in particular. And then one day I did a sketch about if an Aussie was in Harry Potter and that blew up. Um, and then um, I did a bunch of other kind of Aussie stuff. And then I started doing the PS1 and um, both of those series combined is what people tend to know me for. Harry Potter, give me the stone. <clears throat> Do I like Spider-Man? I love Spider-Man. I think my favourite Spider-Man film is... It's, it's a toss-up between Spider-Man 2 and um, Into the Spider-Verse. Fuck, he looks so shit in this, doesn't he? Ooh, Shizer. Ah, 
Alright, so I gotta try and knock this under him, do I? Die, Potter. Come over here, mate. What's going on here? You motherfucker. Oh, it wasn't hard enough, was it? Gotcha, you bastard. You'd think he'd cotton on to, like, that I'm just gonna hit the poles. Oh, motherfucker. Alright, this is pretty hard. Why does these ropes keep coming from? Actually, I would probably say they're both pretty equal in terms of gameplay. Maybe Chamber of Secrets is a bit better because I really fucking hate that minecart. Um, I think it's got a little less of the kind of pointless button smashy and repetitive gameplay. So maybe Chamber of Secrets is a tiny bit better. Mate, come in front of one of the poles. Ah, you motherfucker. Ah, uh, yeah, I think this is the final boss. Damn it. I'm not doing too well. I don't have much life, do I? Gotcha, you bastard. Do I have to hit him while he's putting... Die, Potter. Die, Potter. Die, Potter. Have I played Lego Harry Potter? I actually haven't played those games. I know there's a lot of love for them. You'd think Voldemort, one of the greatest wizards in the world, would be a little bit smarter than like, let's go stand next to these reappearing pillars um, and try and attack him. What the fuck happened that time? Who's the most interesting to voice? Who do I have the most fun voicing? When I was doing the multiverse series, um... I really loved voicing Voldemort and the Three Snapes. Um, I honestly actually never intended for those characters to play. Well, I had a, I had a plan, um, but I didn't intend there to be so many episodes with those three characters. So um, uh, I really loved voicing those. I was pretty close, wasn't I? You're far too inquisitive to remain among Phone manufacturers is the next house. I was thinking the phone manufacturers. But I mean like what who would the four be? Like you've got you got Windows, um, Android, and iPhone, but who would the four I, I can't really think of other ones that like to make extra jokes with, so I was thinking that. Um, I do have a couple planned for this week though, um, and then I've got some random ones that I'm going to try as well. Oh, thanks so much, mate. Oh, thanks for joining us here on the live stream. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and do more of these because I like hanging out with you guys. I like, like getting to chat with you. Come here, you bullshit.
Kein Nokia. Yeah, maybe maybe Neville would be like a Blackberry or something like that. Yeah, I guess you got like Huawei and things like that. Um, They don't really tell these tales in the legends. The legend of the uh, how Voldemort used to get inanimate knights to do his bidding um, rather than his Death Eaters, you know? Just use whatever you have lying around the castle, I suppose. Ah, Shizer. Come here, you boss. So he's going to hit twice now. Three times. Gotcha. Hogwarts Legacy, yeah, I played it. You can uh, watch me play a bunch of it on the stream. If you, uh, there's, um, there's a few streams of me playing it. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I thought the ending was a bit anticlimactic. Um... Yeah, there was, I, I think it was great. I think uh, I'd probably give it like a 8.5, 9 out of 10 maybe. Um, play Lego Harry Potter on stream. I'll have to try and buy the game because I never actually own those games. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give it a crack. I'm going to play a bunch of retro games. I feel like there's enough streamers playing Helldivers 2 and whatnot, so come hang out and play some old school games with me. Spoiler alert, as in spoiler for my shorts. My fat pillar, Voldemort. Yeah, retro gaming's badass. I think, uh, as much as I love modern games, like, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of cool games, but I don't know, some of these new games don't have the, like, the heart to them that the older games had. Because they're massive productions now, like, this. The, the team on this game would have been laughably small compared to, you know, a modern blockbuster AAA game. Like Rockstar and Bethesda, like, they're huge operations. Well, he's got no plan. Oh, what I'm going to do is just stand next to these pillars, even though he keeps knocking them on my head. I think if I do it one more time, I might actually succeed. Oh no! He caught me! Blast you, Potter! Now, what should I do? Oh, I've got an idea. Let's stand next to one of these pillars again! Oh, here we go! Ah, these ropes come from nowhere, don't they? Gotcha, you bastard. Alright, so now he's not going to stop. You will yield to me, Potter. You will. Escape me, Potter. Surrender the stone. This is your luck. Shut the fuck up. Alright, so I've got to hit the... Fuck. Alright, we're in 
strike now. So that's what we've got to do now. Jesus. How the fuck do you dodge that one? Do have Harry do a roast on Voldemort. He's roasted him a few times, but I'm definitely sure he'll roast him one more time. <laughs> well, I'm glad you, you enjoy them so much, mate. Um, that's, that's really nice to hear. Um, so essentially, um, yeah, like I said, I'm working on something. My goal is to kind of create a series out of this, but kind of peel myself away from the, the copyright material. Um, and um, if anyone knows uh, Rick and Morty, you'll know that um, that was actually based off Back to the Future. So that was just an impression he used to do for Doc and Marty. Um, so my goal is to kind of do what he's done with that show and create my own series that would have the heart of these shorts. Um, but, um, you know, obviously I can't make money off of Harry Potter stuff because it's not mine, which wouldn't be cool. Um, so I've got some pretty cool ideas and hopefully I'll have the first episode of that ready for you guys sometime soon. Do I watch South Park? Yeah, I love South Park. Matt Stone and Trey Parker were a big influence to me growing up. Watch Back to the Future. I love Back to the Future. It's one of the best movies ever made. I don't know if it's a film you could ever remake, and I hope they don't. <laughs> it's uh, it's just too good. It's too perfect. The Back to the Future films. I mean, the third one's got some problems, but it's still a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm not going to give up on the Harry Potter stuff. Um, it's just more like um, <clears throat> if I was to have my own series, like um, like Rick and Morty or so, I can't use other people's characters because that's not cool. You know, um, this is just YouTube stuff. Me having a bit of a laugh. Am I still playing Hogwarts Legacy? No, not anymore. Um, oh, what is this potion? I mean, Harry really only does use one spell, doesn't he? <laughs> he only really ever uses Expelliarmus. All right, let's try and get this done because I've got to go soon. So uh, try and knock this, uh, get this bastard beat. He has the stone. Harry Potter, give me the stone. I Harry Potter, give me the stone. I 
Hermione might act for actual lines in the parody series. Yeah, I mean, Harry doesn't know anything about Stranger Danger, does he? Let's just drink this strange drink I found in a basement. Uh-oh. Take my Nintendo, you bastard. Die, Potter. Die, Potter. Uh, defecating Snape again. Oh, what happened there? Um, I have a prediction that uh, something might happen with his character. But uh, he is dead. He's not going to come back to life. Thanks so much, AI Addis. That's a very generous gift. Appreciate that, mate. I oh, appreciate that, mate. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm making many more. So I'm going to try and release one video every night this week. So um, hopefully you guys enjoy them. Did I check out X-Men 97? Yeah, I did. I fucking loved it. So good. Um, that's why I've been making those um, X-Men x-men videos if you haven't seen them give them a watch uh, people keep I actually think the voices I do for the x-men one are better than my Harry Potter voices because a lot of people have actually accused me of um, of being AI on those videos so I'm gonna release a few videos showing me doing the actual voices because there's a bunch of people accusing me of being a fraud which is never cool Have you ever watched the Jurassic Park films? Oh my gosh. Jurassic Park 1 is one of my favorite movies ever made. Uh, the re what happened there? The rest of them aren't that great. Um, I'll, I'll watch them. Like a bad Jurassic Park movie is still good. Um, but uh, yeah, none, none of them are, have anything on the first one. The first one's just iconic. That T-Rex scene is just one of the best scenes in cinema isn't it where he escapes from the fence flips the car upside down um yeah jurassic park terminator 2 two of my favorite action kind of big budget movies ever made you can um if you're into movies you can follow me on letterboxd occasionally i review movies on there What did you say in the comments, Osmosis? I didn't, didn't catch that one. Oh, fuck, it comes through the mirror. Oh, it's supposed to be um, Quirrell. Um, that's why he has a nose. Also, just bad um, graphics. Oh, thanks, mate. What? You like all of the Jurassic Park films? That's dodgy. I just feel like I had more life left than that. Motherfucker. Let's do this. People thought I was using... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it sucks that... Um, <laughs> I mean, it's a compliment in a way because it's like people thought the voices were that accurate that they thought it was the it was just a rip-off. Um, but um, that's why sometimes I put my faces in these things. Um, whether I've been eating you here, Papa. which some people don't like. They tell me quite aggressively that they don't want my face in my videos. Um, but uh, there was this dude on um, was it 4chan who was essentially just ripping off my work for ages, um, just basically insinuating that he made these videos. And um, I kept getting messages like, hey, this guy's ripping off your content. And um, 
my only way of really combating that was like, uh, well, I'll just show you that it's me doing the voices. This guy's not really going to be able to prove that he's done anything. Um, and look, I'm, I'm fine with people reposting my videos. Like, that. I love that. I love people doing that. But um, to claim that they're yours, like, what is that? Like, you just... That's just petty. And, like, what if people find out that it's not you? Well, they did find out it wasn't him. And he did not take it well. Somehow I became the villain of his story because I was telling him, you know, just to credit me in the comments. I wasn't even having a go at the guy. Um, Flipendo! Will we get more of the two Snapes? You'll get more of the two Snapes. There may be more Snapes in future season seasons. Just because Snape 3 is dead doesn't mean that uh, there aren't other Snapes in the universe, you know? Thanks, mate. Did uh, many of you watch the, any of the long form videos I did, I've made? Um, the Dragon Ball Z one actually got um, a, a, a algorithmically suppressed by YouTube because they did not like it. <laughs> I got a notification basically saying, this, this is a bit too crass. We're going to block this one. I'm not doing well this time, am I? Definitely going to need that potion. Poor Snapey. Snape did doo doo. Snape hit key in bum bum. The multiverse idea. Um, it was um. Honestly, I never planned to make it into a series until I did the second short. Damn you, Potter. It wasn't my... So the first one I did was, um, it was basically, it was just a joke. I was like, wouldn't it be funny if um, someone came back in time and, and warned Harry that Hagrid was going to be the real villain of the universe? Um, just because m my version of Hagrid had become such a loose unit, um, I thought that would be hilarious. And then people really enjoyed that. And then... Everyone wanted to know, everyone basically wanted to see Hagrid kill Voldemort. So I thought, all right, let's, let's, let's do this. Let's actually make this into a show. And then I sat down and I basically wrote out the whole story. Well, not the whole story, um, but the main beats that you see. Um, and I always knew that I wanted Harry to meet his mum in an alternate universe. I just thought it would be a really bittersweet moment. Um, it was kind of very much inspired by, um, I don't know if many of you are comic book fans, but um, there's a Flash comic called The Flashpoint Paradox. Um, they pretty much made that new movie after. I haven't watched that new movie, so tell me if this happens in the movie. But essentially what happens at the end of that um, comic book is um, Barry Allen uh, gives Bruce Wayne a... Um, a letter from his dad in an alternate universe and it's kind of this really bittersweet moment because um yeah he's you know he never gets to talk to his parents so um i i kind of did my version of that die potter Die, Potter. All right, we're focusing this time. Where do you even find comics? Um, if you're a Melbourne-based, there's a really awesome place called All Star Comics. Um, give them a shout out. They're awesome. The people in there are lovely. Um, you got a lot, a large selection of comics. Um, yeah, I really like that place. 
Uh, I haven't read comics for a while though. Um, I've got a bunch under my house. I've just moved in here, so um, I haven't read any of the any of the new arcs. Um, kind of stopped. I haven't read any of Tom King's Batman, um, but uh, I really love um, Scott Snyder's Batman. That's one of my favourite versions of Batman. My favourite comic series is actually um, Daredevil. Um, the the, Bri the original Bi Brian Michael Bendis run of Daredevil, I thought was so good. Um, uh, and my other favourite comics, what other favourite comics do I have? Uh, Lock and Key, I don't, it was turned into a TV series that is pretty terrible to be honest with you, but um, the comics are amazing. They're actually written by Stephen King's son. Highly recommend that. If you like horror, um, yeah, though, that, that comic series is amazing. Um, Snape did doo doo. Snape hid key in bum bum. Oh my god! He's put it in his rectum! I think um, I am glad they eventually changed the design of Voldemort. Like this, this was originally supposed to be what he was kind of going to look like. I don't know if any of you've seen the original concept art. Kind of looks more like a snake, but um, I really love the the movie design of Voldemort. It's so good. Snape did doo doo in bum bum. Ah, for fuck's sake. I should have seen that coming. A bastard. You got to verify your age to watch the video. Oh god, that's why no one's watched it. <laughs> I don't know what's so bad in that video, honestly. Yeah, I got like two alerts from YouTube, and then they did a manual review on that video. It's a shame because I spent fucking ages on that video. Um. I'd like to do more long form stuff. It's actually really hard to, to um, it takes a long time to edit 15, 20 minutes worth of video. Um, and I've only got so many hours a week to dedicate to actual video editing. Um, I mean, I really like the Elder Wand. Um, that's my favorite wand design. I've actually got one in my cupboard, um, but uh, would I have the Elder Wand if it was real? Like, would I, you know, knowing the price that comes with it, I probably wouldn't. Am I a good driver? Not really. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have ADD. Um, I'm getting tested for it right now. Um, so I just find I'm very distractible when I'm driving. Um, so I'll just be thinking about ideas or... Um, so yeah, not a great driver. But I'm not a bad one. I've only ever had one minor accident. It's just a scrape on the side of the car. All right, we gotta tap this bloody button. Probably just looks like I'm jerking off to you guys, doesn't it? Go. It's a bit 
rapey, this scene, isn't it? What's he doing? It just kind of looks like he's jerking, like jizzing himself or something. Got you, you bastard. This is the thing I don't miss about old games, the button mashing levels, like they just suck ass. We did it! We got him! Yes! Old he got horn. between yourself and Professor Quill is a complete secret, he said. So naturally, it's a complete secret. Do not tell anyone that you were molested at Hogwarts. That's that's uh, Dumbledore's uh, number one concern. It's bad for PR. Dumbledore nodded, showing his concern. Nevertheless, Harry, if our battles do no more than slow Voldemort's return, with luck, he may never regain his power at all. Who would win in a fight? John Wick, uh, John Wick or Ethan Hunt? John Wick, for sure, man. The year feast alone that night. The Great Hall was decked out in green and silver to celebrate Slytherin winning the House Cup. When Harry entered, there was a sudden hush. He took a seat between Ron and Hermione, trying to ignore the stares of the other students. The House Cup, announced Dumbledore, is awarded to the team with the most house points. At the moment, that would seem to be Slytherin. A storm of cheering and stamping broke out from the Slytherin table. However, continued Dumbledore, in recognition of Mr. Harry Potter's pure nerve and outstanding courage, I award Gryffindor 60 points. Harry's table erupted with cheers and applause. The additional point this is where Snape just gets fucking destroyed. Are you kidding me, Dumbledore, you piece of shit? So these points mean nothing to you? Or knocking out mountain trolls. He would never 40 trillion points from a Gryffindor. Uh, yeah, I'm going to play uh, the Chamber of Secrets next stream. Um, we'll play that and then um, yeah we'll play a bit of that and then um, maybe in a following stream we might play a different old school game so we'll do a poll um, get everyone to vote on what they want to um, what they want to play uh, I'm in the middle of setting up a discord so um, uh, you all can join that once once I announce that that'll that'll probably I'll probably put that on um, community posts or follow me on Instagram um, that's where I reply to most of my messages. So if you ever want to DM me on Instagram, I usually try to reply to everyone. So come and chat to me there. All right, we did the game. So thank you for everyone for hanging out today. Um, it was fun. Uh, I'm going to go because I'm going to go make some videos for you all. So, um, got to do that before I, <laughs> but they got to. Five hours before I got to pick my daughter up from daycare, so um, I'll uh, I'll get some stuff done for you all, and then uh, there'll be a video tonight, and a video tomorrow night, hopefully one every night this week. Um, keep an eye out on community posts for when I'm going to be online next, and uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out. Peace, love yous. <laughs>